going on everybody it's matt here again from filter grade and we recently got a few comments on our old youtube video about scanning um polaroids with the epson v550 so i'm just going to go through a little quick updated process using the same scanner the epson v550 this time i'll be scanning some of my artwork and i'll just take you through the process of how to make everything look you know the way it actually looks in real life so that all the colors are matched all the levels are balanced and everything like that. So let's just go ahead and jump into the Epson V550 and onto the computer and, and we'll get into it. All right, so to start, when you're scanning just regular artwork, make sure you have your blank slide over the transparency unit. Just since we're not scanning film, you need to have just a plain white background. Um, after that, go ahead and wipe your your scanner down just to make sure everything's nice and clean when you go ahead and start. If you have a, like a can of air or something like that, you can use that as well, or like a, an eyeglass cleaner, something like that. Then you're gonna just go ahead and place your, your artwork down. I usually like to keep it um, all the way in the top right corner. Just, I always do it there just to make sure like consistency and everything. So just place it all the way down. Then in your Epson scan software, you're gonna wanna make sure your mode is in document mode and not in photo mode. Obviously the scanner is what your Epson V550 scan setting you're gonna use. I usually just have it on default and it just automatically works. If you wanna be a perfectionist, you can just click document again. Um, that doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna leave it on default and we'll go into document mode like i said before and from here all i'm gonna do is press preview before i worry about any of the settings just to see what the work looks like all right so as you can see it's definitely not what it needs to be it does not look like what we had it as before um so we're just gonna look at the settings and see what what's causing this so go into main settings in document size and document source this looks right but the image type is black and white you, you're going to want to change that to color and it's going to bring out the whole you know image not just the black and white if you want you can also do grayscale this is what people usually think of as black and white grayscale is just every single tone of black or white whereas black and white they're literally referring to as either black or white um, just something to keep in mind if you're doing some some grayscale stuff, but we're gonna do color for this one DPI for my artwork or Polaroids or any type of like document I usually like to stay 600 or above for this one. I'll just do a thousand I've been doing a thousand recently. So let's just leave it at that um, And then let's go down into format and like the export settings in the bottom left so image format for my artwork, I'm always doing JPEG. I will JPEG or PDF. JPEG is just the most standard and easy to use, less the least amount of hassle. So let's just stick with JPEG. For file name, I usually like to do the date. So the date backwards, just this is another consistency thing just for the archive to make sure that I'm always um, you know, using the same format so I can easily go back and find everything. Um, so we're gonna do the date, and then I'll just do the name of this this artwork, and then usually I'll scan more than one version of it, so let's just use the file counter just to have different numbers for it. And then, so now we're ready to actually scan it. What I'm gonna do is scan one cropped version of just the square, and you can just drag that that tool around the artwork. And then I'll do one scan of the whole entire sheet. And to scan both of them at the same time, we're gonna click on the two right there. And to save it in a specific spot, you can go into the folder. And let's go ahead and select the folder that we're gonna save it into. All right, so let's go ahead and open these up. And you can see the full, this is the full detail of the scan. It's crazy because it's, it almost looks like more detail than what you would actually see in person, but 
Yeah, definitely a huge fan of scanning the work in and seeing it on the computer. Gives it that like textured feel that you can't really replicate just through random digital artworks, you know. And so let's just jump back into Epson scan so you can see a little bit of the differences um, in terms of the settings and things like that. If you go into the advanced settings, you can change a little bit up just to fix it so you don't have to do that in like Photoshop or, or Lightroom afterwards. If your image is too dark, you can obviously just brighten it up with the brightness and, and darkness slider. This is kind of a preference thing. I usually like to leave my levels at zero unless it looks wrong, which in this case it doesn't look um, bad or anything. Sometimes I'll play with the contrast settings depending on the style for the artwork, but again, I usually leave this just at zero because it looks normal. And then gamma I'm not too sure about, but yeah, I never really touched this to be honest. So let's just leave this at what it was. And that's pretty much it in terms of scanning your artwork. We're gonna go ahead and scan one more piece just as another example. And so for this one, let's go ahead and try out um, the scan settings. I'm, I honestly never really do this, but let's just try out magazine settings, see what um, the difference is, see what the, the resolution and everything that we'll get is. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag out the box to scan this. And, and again, I'm just gonna test out this setting. I'm not too sure how it will be, but we're gonna try it out. I did notice that the magazine, the auto DPI is just 300, which I don't really like doing under 600, but let's just try it out, see how it looks. This will be a much quicker scan since it's not as high of a re resolution. But for me, I usually just do my scans in the background, so like of work so I don't really care too too much although this is pretty I don't know it's pretty high resolution still but I feel like there's some like blurriness to it that I'm not getting in the 1000 dpi like this seems a little more and obviously it's partially just the photos that I'm using but this seems to me the one on the left that 300 dpi that seems a little more rough around the edges and not as sharp even just in the black line on for the 21 Savage one, this one's a thousand DPI and you can see the darkness in this line. Whereas this for the magazine standard setting on the Epson Scan 2 software, it's not very, not very crisp. So I would just stick to 600 DPI and above and maybe, I don't know. I, I personally, I'll probably just stick with the document mode. I think it's much just more consistent for my work, but Really, it's all a preference thing, like I said. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little quick scanning tutorial. If you have any specific questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. We also have an article on the blog, which I'll link in the description below. Um, but be sure to check both of those out as well. So thanks so much and have a good one.